now, now I will request uh, Professor Amini to uh, present his innovation uh, of uh, uh, instrument which he has made to do uh, uh, rectal biopsy. Thank you, Professor Ashad. Thank you for all the Pakistani Association of Pediatric Surgeon. Thank you also for our panel experts and thank you for all the participants. Uh, I would like just to begin with some thoughts to our lost Professor Ahmed Methad Zaki, who was the past president of the Egyptian Association of Pediatric yeah, Surgeon. Excuse me? No, please, please continue, oh. Professor. Yeah. Who was the past president of the Egyptian Pediatric Surgeon Association, and he was an exceptional pediatric surgeon, a real exceptional man also. So I would like to speak about a homemade uh, device, uh, new forceps for rectal biopsy. As you know, in Hirschsprung disease, we should confirm the anatomopathologic diagnosis before indicating the surgery. This can be done by a surgical biopsy under general anesthesia or by using special forceps like noblet or shea, but usually just forceps are expensive and not always available in pediatric surgery departments. So in our practice in Monastery in Tunisia, we were you know, used to perform surgical rectal biopsies in some doubtful cases. And the diagnosis was mainly based on study of the contrast in EMA, but we had some false positive and false negative, and you can imagine the consequence of such thing. So therefore, the idea of designing a new device was uh, born. First of all, we tried to contact our friend engineer I told us uh, that it's possible to manufacture this kind of devices using 3D printers, but when we arrived to towns and to have money, you know, to finance this uh, process, we have some difficulties. Uh, then the device was designed uh, using non-useful video-assisted surgery material in our pediatric surgery department. And from October 2020, we began to use it after tests on animal tissues and particularly the chicken skins. So, this uh, device is composed from a syringe, infusing tube, laparoscopic five millimeter sharp cannula, and a laparoscopic five millimeter trockers in which we did some modification. This modification consists on, first of all, closing the tip of uh, this cannula and creating a lateral uh, hole to have this device, as you see here. So how we will use it? So this principle is the same than the noblet or shade uh, device. We need to have like a section process to have a prolapse of the mucosa, and after with this sharp cannula, we will enter it and cut this prolapsed mucosa. So we will uh, introduce this uh, cannula in the rectum. We'll try to place this uh, hole in the posterior wall. We will introduce the trocar uh, three centimeters from uh, the anus. After the assistant will make, you know, the section process to have the prolapse of the mucosa and after the main uh, operator will cut using this uh, sharp cannula. Usually we will have the specimen in the tip of the cannula. Sometimes it will be in the drawer. So the, to recuperate it, we will infuse some water like you see uh, here. And of course, we uh, should appreciate this uh, specimen to have if it is uh, good quality or not. If it's not of good quality, we will redo this process. So as you can see here, this specimen was uh, appreciated as a good uh, specimen. So we performed this uh, technique for 41 uh, patients and we analyzed the neuronal ganglion cells and the calatinine immunohistochemistry. Uh, we had in 36 patients deep rectal biopsy. In five cases, we have some problems. So one patient we had uh, cutaneous biopsy because the patient, you know, he was a big children, he was moving and it wasn't uh, under, uh, you know, sedation. And we have four superficial specimens, but the carlitinine helped us to make the diagnosis. No complications were seen after biopsy and all the patients with absence of neuronal ganglionic cells and the negativity of carlitinine staining confirmed, are, are confirmed after surgery. So here some thoughts should be done. First of all, uh, do we need ethical committee? Here we uh, just have oral consent from the legal guardians and the techniques was explained by the parents. Should we consider this as a new invention or just a different use from an existing material? So in conclusion, rectal biopsy forceps should be available in all pediatric surgery department. But I think unfortunately children's health is not always a political priority because we lack material, we lack funds to uh, finance research. So that's why we, so we should count on self-creation and also we should 
uh, count on solidarity. So perhaps that's why I'm presenting this innovation that I hope that we will uh, use. So this is our team of pediatric uh, surgery in Monastir and special acknowledgement to my master, Professor Mackie, who's the one who uh, performed the, this improvement for the brokers and to create this, uh, these forceps. And uh, uh, finally, I would love to see you visiting us in Tunisia for our meetings. Next Saturday, we will have a joint Libyan-Tunisian meeting. And by the end of January, we will have the Arab Association meeting. And also in Marrakech, in Morocco, we'll have the Maghribian and the IPEG Middle East meeting. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much. And uh, I know the, uh, uh, we have uh, Professor uh, Arif Mateen with us and uh, he started uh, doing uh, uh, suction rectal biopsies uh, in Pakistan. And uh, uh, so I would like his comments that how he feels about this instrument and what was his experience about rectal biopsy? Because it's the most important part in diagnosing Hirschsprung disease. Thank you very much, Arshad. Um, yes, um, I saw this uh, short video. And basically, the principle is the same as that of the noblet bi biopsy forceps, that you apply the suction, you suck in the mucosa and the submucosa, and with a sharp circular knife, you cut the piece and uh, then uh, send it for histopathology. So the principle is the same, but I must say that uh, it's a good uh, innovation, uh, inverted commas, homemade device. Uh, which I'm sure would be much cheaper than buying an original forceps. Uh, so yes, uh, a good innovation. And if it works well in their hand, it is safe in 41 patients. So uh, I think they, it should be used. Yeah. And thank you, Professor Arif. Uh, Dr. Oliver is also with us and he has made many innovations, uh, which I continue to read about. So what are your comments on this device? No, I think it is uh, very interesting. And I, I think it's really important. I mean, basically, uh, you know, I think uh, the problem is that so many devices cost so much money and they're not uh, universally available. And, uh, you know, basically, it's just a suction rectal biopsy device, but it can be made with uh, low cost uh, equipment that most of you have. And I think that's, uh, that's fine. I mean, you probably have to, what I would suggest that Amine you should do um, is uh, just make sure, you know, the, the most um, striking complication from a suction rectal biopsy is probably bleeding that you get too deep. So I think you have to be really careful in um, to, uh, in deciding how big the the holes are going to be because if they're too big, you're going to get too much. You might get a full thickness biopsy instead of a uh, you know just a mucosal biopsy. So uh, that should be standardized. I think you should um, you know trial it maybe even in uh, in animals to see that you know it's not too too aggressive and you don't get uh, too much too much tissue. I think it is also important to um, probably standardize how much suction you apply because if you apply too much suction, you can get into the same problem. And then, you know, and then I think if you uh, propagate it, I think it's really important that you tell everyone just to, uh, you know, don't, don't do um, suction rectal biopsies on the same area <clears throat> Um, twice. So always modify where you're going to put it. Always put it to the back so that you don't get a perforation, um, you know, so towards the sacrum and not towards the front. Um, and I think, you know, uh, this is um, this is not rocket science, but it might make it easier for um, people to do suction rectal biopsies and it might save one or the other child of getting a um, getting an uh, uh, an anesthesia for their biopsy for Hirschsprung disease so I think it's uh, excellent I think just make sure that you make you know that this is a safe instrument and I think you you know once that is established it's perfect thank you very much so 